You know, I mainly talk about Linuxy stuff, but I thought I'd cover the topic of cameras. The, the Canon G7X Mark II is one of my favorite cameras. I'm shooting on a GH5. I mean, that's got 4K and it, it, the picture image quality is amazing. But this, as a handheld camera, has just been just absolutely awesome. And now I've got the G7X Mark III. So I quickly run through the differences in my experience of buying it yesterday. I just wanted to point out how well used my Mark II is. Look how, look at that, look at that, look how well. This thing has become loose, I just tightened it yesterday. See, all this stuff is all sort of messed up. So appearance-wise, between the G7X and Mark, and Mark III, um, the, the logo is shit. The, there's a switch here to make this go quiet while focusing. The switch here is gone. I don't know what happened there. My first impression with the Mark III is that like when you press play, it comes on immediately. The, the operating system seems to have be a, a bit, I don't know, a bit weirder and it's changed basically. Like for example, the first thing the menu it first gives you is like, you know, all these creative settings for changing the colors and, and brightness and color tones. I think that's, I keep on accidentally going into this menu now. I just find it a very strange sort of first menu to go to compared to the G7X Mark II. So yesterday I was shooting with the Mark III. I couldn't really figure out how to focus with it. <laughs> um, but otherwise, it was pretty much just like the Mark III. There's the scene, there's a the handheld night mode, which, which is nice. And, um, oh, okay, so let's focus on the differences with the Mark III. The thing that really, really buzzed me about this is that it has a USB-C socket. And, well, can you charge with it? Is what I'm thinking or asking myself. Oh no, how do you turn? See what I mean? I keep on getting into this color menu, like please, out, out, I don't want it. I hate that as the default menu. That's crazy, Canon. So let's, I got a, a power bank and what happens when I connect the USB-C power bank into this thing? Let's get into the display. Oh, one thing I haven't figured out about my Mark III, I can't get the electronic level working. See, there's no electronic level uh, working in the info display. What is with, the, where's my electronic level? So you can see the battery icon here in the top, it's got like, like, um, you can see it there. It's white, but when I plug in the power bank, it turns gray. What does that mean? Does that mean it's charging? Does this mean it's charging or it's charging the power bank or what is it doing? With the battery out, it doesn't work at all, by the way. So I'm a bit puzzled as USB-C charging is working. The other key feature about this that I'm excited about, it's got a mic port. Holy shit, this is innovation, guys, a mic port. So my wireless go is still in for repairs. Um, the battery didn't work with my, my, my road thing and then replacing it. I've been waiting for just a couple of weeks road. So that's a bit annoying, but maybe I can ch change the video pro here. So let's record. I'm gonna plug it out the GH5. Hello, and I'm gonna just plug in my video, my GoPro, whatever, let's take it out. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the GH5's recording. Plugging it in here. Hello, this is through the video mic pro, and hopefully you can hear me clearly, or better than the, the mic on top. I'm removing the video mic pro, putting it back into my GH5, and hopefully, the recording all worked. Now I found the port. I found the port. So this is, um, let's just do a quick reference with um, the GH uh, G7X Mark II. I'm looking at the Mark II now. I'm looking at the Mark III. So the, the light, 
Okay, now there's more actually. The light's better. Sorry. Let me go. Let me get st so straight on to the to the ring light. Here we go. Which one's better? They're both on auto. No fancy stuff. No changes. This is Canon Color Science right here. Mark three. I'm looking at you. Actually, the Mark three. I would say my complexion looks slightly better than the Mark two on the um, the flip up display. Otherwise, yeah, I miss the electronic level on on the Mark on the Mark Three. There's also some things in the menu I don't understand, like X, X, e EXP SIM. What does that mean? Okay, I'm stopping recording. I'm taking out the external thing. What does EXP SIM mean, guys? I bought, I got this on pre-order with Canon Singapore. And one of the things that enticed me to buy one was the um, gift pack that you get with the pre-order. But when I bought it from Cathay Photo, they then told me that I need to go to Canon and like Vivo City Harbourfront to go collect it. You're like, I don't have time to go and collect your gift pack. So I had to buy, um, part of the gift pack was like a SD card. And obviously, since it wasn't there and I wanted to shoot with it, I had to buy an SD card from Cathay. That was really annoying. Um, so like this Canon warranty thing, it's like you get extra three months if you if you go go online. But at the same time, they want me to go all the way to Harbourfront to collect this gift pack. That's bloody frustrating. Also, I wanted to mention is that I read that this thing can do YouTube streaming, live streaming. I was very excited about that. I went through all the menus. I went through the um, the Canon image app. I can't find a way how to stream from this. So if anyone knows, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like Linuxy stuff more so than camera stuff. And uh, please like the video. Did I do that? Can't remember. Bye. How's the brushing getting along, Charlie?